What's up, LBC fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since we talked to you guys last. So today, our new toy has finally arrived. This is a Van Powers e-bike. It is a Manadate, Manadate. And all the tools that are needed are supplied inside the box. So, let's put it together. Are you excited about your new bike? Yes! Hurry up and get it put together. You're not gonna help me put it together? No. <laughs> Putting things together is not my department. That's Jeff's department. I'm the supervisor. Oh, you're gonna supervise me to put it together? Supervise. The what? Supervisor. Supervisor. Yeah. So you just come out here to check out the progress? Exactly. Well, I just started, so I had to take all that paper loose, okay. as you can see. Approved. Approved so far. Approved so far. All right. Well, since you're not going to help me, I guess I need to get to work. I guess you do. The Van Powers Manade bike is a showstopper. When I tell you, when you're riding this bike, you are the talk of the campground or wherever you are riding. The design is sleek and stylish and urban, but look at those tires. They are great for off-road adventure. They absorb so much shock from tree trunks and potholes. You really feel like you are in control of the trail. And not only that, it's powerful and you can go up to 28 miles per hour. Now, I don't think anybody needs to go that fast, but if you want to do it, this is the bike to do it on. Let's see what this bike could do. We took it to Salem Lake, which is a reservoir located in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. The lake is a popular spot for fishing, boating, and hiking, and it has a seven-mile trail that circles the lake. It has some amazing views, but when you are riding this Van Powers bike, you are the view. The Van Powers Manaday e-bike is a high-performance electric bicycle that is equipped with a 750-watt motor. This allows the rider to reach speeds of up to 28 miles per hour. It has a range of up to 70 miles on a single charge, and its 48-volt lithium battery can be fully charged in just 4 to 6 hours. The bike features an 8-speed Shimano transmission system, hydraulic disc brakes, and a front and rear suspension, making it suitable for off-road adventures. It also has this really cool bell, and it has a thumb throttle on the left-hand side. The Manaday e-bike has a sleek and stylish design with a lightweight aluminum frame, making it easy to handle and transport. All right, guys, so this Van Powers bike has five levels of pedal assist, and let me give you an idea of what each level does as far as speed. First, I'm gonna start out with zero pedal assist. Zero pedal assist in a flat parking lot. 
level one pedal assist. So the bike accelerates real quick to about eight miles an hour. Pedal assist number one. Pedal assist number two, about 10 miles an hour, eh, about 11.4, 11.6 miles an hour. Pedal assist number two. Bike accelerate. Pedal assist number three. 14.9, 15 miles an hour, 15 miles per hour. All right, guys, pedal assist number four. <laughs> this bike is taking off 17 miles an hour. And pedal assist level five. get into some of the display or the screen display so to turn it on press and hold this button and the display turns on if you press the up arrow you go through your different levels of pedal assist up to five your throttle is right here if you press that button the back tires start to spin guys you have 750 watts of power press this button one more time at the bottom your trip meter sets press it again shows you your miles your odometer shows your battery level and it is pretty easy to see during the daytime if you hold this up arrow for three seconds you'll notice the light icon for your headlight comes on hold it again for three more seconds and the display goes off. So your front light goes off. This bike also has a rear deflector, but it does not have a rear light. Hey guys, so my final decision or my final uh, opinion about this bike is, this bike is a beast. I like the fact that you can ride it in all different types of terrain, whether it be ice, well, whether it be snow, sand at the beach um gravel concrete the street bike trails anything you can think of you can ride this I bike really enjoyed the van powers manaday bike we had a blast riding it and like i said i was able to ride on some rough terrain like jeff always likes to do and he fell and i was able to keep riding so if you don't have a fat tires bike i highly recommend that you get one and particularly the van powers manaday